right, Chief Meteorologist this Albert Ramon back with us heading into September, but it's still feeling like the summer. Yeah, we got summertime heat near 90 degrees in many spots as we head towards tomorrow. Also increasing the humidity just a bit ahead of a front that allow for a chance of rain for parts of the holiday weekend. We'll first start off with our live camera overlooking downtown with a clear sky out there. Look at this. Sevens is a good number, I guess. 77 at the loop. Lincoln Park, Oak Park, Tinley Park, a bit cooler at 71. Here's what we're tracking for you for tonight. Uh, plenty of sunshine the next two days, getting hotter, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Front comes in Saturday afternoon. It'll run into that hot, humid air, and that's why we have a chance of a few isolated showers and even storms. And then on the back side of that front, breezy winds off the lake. So we do have a rip current risk if your holiday weekend plans take you to the beach. We'll talk much more about that in a second. Here's how we'll kick off your Thursday morning with 62 Valparaiso, 59 in Aurora and Morris, mid to upper 60s across much of Cook County. And then for tomorrow afternoon, it's hotter, mid to upper 80s, even a few low 90s here and there, including midway tomorrow at 91, 90 in Oak Lawn, 90 at Skokie, Evanston also 90. So no lake breeze tomorrow. We'll have breezy west winds that forces that cooler air away from the lake shore even 89 tomorrow and Gary bit cooler mid 80s Burns Harbor about 85 for tomorrow in Indiana Dunes. We're going to do it again on Friday, probably even a little bit hotter across the area. 89 degrees for the high temperature with a partly cloudy sky. And then here are the changes as we head into the holiday weekend. It's not a big chance of rain, but Saturday will feature at least an isolated shower or storm. Let's walk through the holiday weekend, increasing clouds on Friday night. But if you have some plans Friday evening, we're dry and even Saturday morning. Here's 6 a.m. Dry front comes in mid to late afternoon, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, and that will be the focus for a couple of showers and isolated thunderstorms. And then behind the front, a breezy northeast wind right off the lake. That's going to build the waves out on Lake Michigan and also create some dangerous swimming conditions for Lake Michigan beaches. There's no beach hazard out just yet from the National Weather Service, but we think uh, that will likely get uh, issued in the next 24 hours or so. Speaking of the holiday weekend, behind that front and that steamy air, cooling temperatures, 78 on Sunday with a partly cloudy sky. We'll wrap up the holiday weekend on Labor Day Monday at 82 degrees. We've been in a mainly dry weather pattern. We've had breezy winds out of the west today. It'll be breezy for the next couple of days. That's why the ragweed pollen has been in the high count and looks to stay in the high count at least until Labor Day. Here's a check of the extended forecast. Uh, the other opportunities for rain other than Saturday don't come until a middle part of next week. Looks like we get into a little bit more unsettled weather pattern in about seven days. All right. Thank you, Albert.